Today we have a question. What would be remainder when x raised to power 2, 0, 1, 6, minus 1 is divided by a polynomial in the form of x5, x4, x3, x square, x plus 1? Okay, so let's check the concepts. Concept number 1. If a number say n is divisible by another number say m, then n is also divisible by factor of m. What it's mean? If I am saying 36 is divisible by 12 means if 36 divided by 12 remainder is 0 then 36 should always be divisible by the factor of 12 is nothing but 4 and 6 is the easiest concept we are going to use in this question I am rewriting the concept in the term of function the second concept is in a street of number if we have a function say fx if fx is divisible by gx if fx is divisible by gx then fx is also divisible by factors of gx if fx is divisible by gx then fx would also be divisible by say mx if mx is the factor of gx same as previous concept of number our third concept is the basic concept of finding remainders if we have function fr is the remainder function when fx is divided by gx when g are equal to 0 so if fx is equal to 5x cube plus 2x square plus 3 and gx is equal to x minus 1 if we have to find fx divided by gx what would be remainder then we only do gx equal to 0 we want some x for which the function of gx is 0 by this we will get x equal to 1 and put this one in this fx we will get the remainder so the statement is the same if a polynomial in the term of x n minus 1 then its value is x minus 1 x n minus 1 and decreasing power of x till 1 for example if we have x square minus 1 its factorization is x minus 1 and we have x square then the power is 1 less than is nothing but x then plus 1 if we have x cube minus 1 then its value is x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 similarly we have another values if we have x4 minus 1 then x minus 1 and if it's 4 so it's x3 x square x plus 1 or in the similar lines x5 minus 1 is nothing but x minus 1 it's 5 then x4 3 2 1 and x0 so by analyzing this factorization of polynomial we can say x plus 1 is a factor of x square minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 is a factor of x cube minus 1 similarly and so on so we can say if we have a function like 1 x x square x cube x4 the summation of this type of polynomial with coefficient 1 is always a factor of 1 increasing power so today we have learned four concepts concept number one for a number concept number two for a function concept number three how we find remainder for a function concept number four is the factorization of the xn minus one term so these four are the basic concept for this question our question is what would be remainder when x raised to power two zero one six minus one is divided by this one first analyze our divisor function this is 1 x x square x cube x 4 x plus 5 so we can say this is the factor of x x minus 1 now check this is another polynomial what would be remainder when this the bigger polynomial than our divisor or the multiple polynomial of our divisor divides the dividend function this is our new divisor function so assume this one is 0 for finding the remainder it's nothing but the concept number 3 by this we can say x6 equal to 1 put the value of x6 equal to 1 in this function we know x2016 minus 1 equal to x raised to power 6 raised to power 336 minus 1 and we have divisor function x6 minus 1 equal to 0 by this x6 equal to 1 put x6 equal to 1 in our dividend function this becomes 1 raised to power some power minus 1 is nothing but 0 so we can say our dividend function is divided by x6 minus 1 okay and 
our required divisor function is the factor of xx minus 1. So the concept number 2 of the factors we can say are uh, this function is divided by this function and this is the factor of this function. So finally x raised to power 2, 0, 1, 6, minus 1 should be divided by x5, x4, x3, x square, x plus 1. So we can say the remainder would be 0. If you have any doubt feel free to ping me on Facebook or YouTube. Thanks.